Welcome back to Lesson 10, Three-Phase Delta Connections. This is Part 2, Delta Connected Loads. So, on the left-hand side, we have a three-phase star power source, probably a generator, and on the right-hand side, a balanced three-phase delta load. A delta connected load has a line voltage across each phase of the load and must be balanced to operate successfully if you're going to operate on the star connected system. So here you can see we have a star supply as the generator but our load is connected in delta. So let's do a quick little uh, calculation around this just to catch our brains up on how this would work mathematically we want to try and find the phase current in each of the loads the line current a b and c and the voltage across each of the loads we've learnt the formulas we needed for this in the last lesson so we know i've got 400 volts and each of our z's z a b and c are 20 ohms so again just a quick Recap, our load is connected up like this, or drawing a very rough delta here. So, always pays to draw a diagram. I harp and harp and harp at my students, always draw a diagram. And we know each of these is 20 ohms so we have 400 volts ZA, ZB, ZC so that's the impedance of each of these is 20 ohms calculate the phase current well we know we have 400 volts across each one so 400 volts is the volts phase it's also the volts line, but for now it's the volts phase. And our formula, simple Ohm's law, volts divided by impedance has got to give us the current. So if we take our 400 volts, we multiply, so divided by our 20 ohms, we're going to end up with 20 amps in each phase and because it's a balanced load if the load wasn't balanced then we couldn't do it but we can do it because we've said it's a balanced load and we know it's a balanced load because we've been told that each phase is 20 ohms calculate the line current well now that we've got the phase current we've just got to manipulate our formula if you remember I line is equal to the square root of 3 multiplied by the phase current, IP. So that's this formula here. And we learned about that one in our last lesson. So we end up with 1.73, which is the square root of 3, multiplied by 20. So we're going to end up with a line current of 34.67 amps. So we've got 20 amps You'll excuse my bad drawing we've got 20 amps in here and we've got 20 amps in here and the output the line is 34.64 amps and I ask the question why well the why is we can't just add them together it's not 40 amps not 20 plus 20 equals 40 it's because there is a Thirty degree angle between this current and this current. 
therefore we end up with 34 and we have to use the formula i line equals square root of 3 multiplied by ip which is this one here the third step the phase voltage in the delta connector is the same as the line voltage so if you remember for delta volts phase equals volts line and we were told that volt line was 400 volts therefore it also has to be volts phase so there's a quick little example on calculating currents around a delta load So delta connected load has the same line voltage across each phase. The load must be balanced to operate successfully on a star connected system. So I put that slide in there just to remind us of that fact that we can connect star to delta if, if sorry, got to go backwards and get my pen out it must be balanced All right this load must be balanced to be able to connect to a star if it's not balanced we're going to get all kinds of voltages and things because we can't create a physical balance because there's nowhere for the neutral to be connected in a star to delta system so a star to delta will work but only if the delta side is balanced that's the trick can be done but you've got to guarantee it's balanced so now we're going to look at loads connected to a delta supply. So here we have a delta supply and a delta load. So let's put our capital G on here for a generator and a big, big L over here for load. Of course here all the Voltages and currents will balance each other out and will work just fine. So delta connected supply suits a delta connected load. Any unbalance in the phase currents does not affect the line phase voltages. So that's the big thing here. An unbalance in the phase currents will not affect the phase voltages. So that's why we use it for distribution, because we can get away with using just those three wires. And all the currents and all the voltages will stay in check because the system is kind of self-balancing. So let's sum up our lesson for delta. Well, yeah, all, for all of delta. So both parts A and B is what I'm saying. First, the phase windings of a three-phase power generator can be connected to in star or delta. So... Again, phase windings of a three-phase generator can be connected in star or in delta. The voltage is the voltage between the supply line and the three-phase circuit. In a delta system, the line and phase voltages are the same. So in a delta system, phase and line voltages remain 
the same. And how do we express that? We say that bolts phase equals bolts line. Simple as that. Line current through any one supply line between three phase source and load. So in a delta, the line current through the, is the current through any one supply line between three phase source and the load. Phase current is the current through a leg of the three phase source load. In a delta system, the phase current equals the line current divided by the square root of three. So what we're saying there, to put that in a graphical form, Here's our delta. Put some terminals on it just to make it look flash. So the line current in any one line between the three phases is the load. So this is I line. The phase current is a phase current through any leg of the three phase source. So this is I phase. I line, I phase. Of course, I line breaks up as it comes through the node. And remembering, of course, that there is a 30 degree relationship here which means that there is a square root of 3 relationship between the line current and the phase current. So summing up a delta generator provides one value of voltage which is very helpful Generator has three phase wings that are connected at dissimilar ends. So it's like a, a ring creating up that delta triangular shape. The line current equals the phase current multiplied by 1.73. So looking at it the other way around, I line is equal to square root of three multiplied by I phase. The line current leads the phase current by 30 degrees. That's where the root three comes from. The line and phase voltages are the same and the phase of sum of the voltage balances the circuit to zero. It's one of the big advantages of a delta connected system. Continuing on, um, load and phase current equals the phase voltages divided by the line impedance, so it's simple Ohm's law. So the load phase current equals the phase voltage divided by the phase impedance. The load phase current is also the line current divided by the square root of three. And line current equals phase current multiplied by 1.73. Those are the same equations, just different parts of the subject of the formula. And finally, the voltage across each phase of the load equals the line voltage. As always I found a video that runs for about 6.4 minutes on star delta or mesh systems that uh, I'll put the link for on an e-learning link that you can uh, click on and go and watch if you would like. That ends our delta connected systems lesson.